so guys this is the Don Parkway Expressway the DVP so here it is and we are now entering now this 15 kilometer expressway was proposed in 1954 work began immediately and 1961 that is when there was groundbreaking the work stopped in 1967 so it has been here for some time why it is known as the Dome Valley it is actually a valley you can see the elevation of these bridges and there's actually a river and that river is known as the Don River hopefully you'll get to see it so this particular 15 km expressway has 12 exit points and since it's a busy highway initially it was designed for 60,000 cars per day we are talking about the 1960s 60,000 cars per day but then for sure that number must have exceeded the original design it's six lanes as you can see and the good thing about it is that it is so well maintained because there's regular maintenance that happens especially during Fridays from 11 p.m. All the way to Monday morning so due diligence has been observed for the many many years it's also good to note that the original inhabitants of this land were known as the Nisaudas they are the people who gave the British this particular land this particular valley where this expressway has been built and due to one reason or another, there was some misunderstanding which resulted in a court case and it was settled in the year 2010. And a lot of money was paid out. So yeah. That's a brief history of this particular expressway. In another video, we are going to do the Don River from another point of view. Now you're on the expressway itself. We are driving through the expressway itself. You can see the bridge. The speed limit should be observed. Despite the speed you're seeing the cars, going by 90 kilometers you can see the elevation of the lights I'm sure it's to ease the driver's train you can see this bridge and, that's, and this proves to you that this is a valley you can see for the train transit train downtown Toronto you can also see the other part of the expressway is on an elevation. You can see the embankment to make sure there is no collapse as well. And right there in front of you, now that is Toronto City. Highway going downtown 
it's a bit empty compared to those ones who are coming to town. It's very normal for a weekend. Very, very normal. happens to have soil that is rich in clay this clay was quite crucial in the making of bricks in the 18th and 19th century Canada most houses are made of bricks they eat concrete technologies were different and because the river was quite unrecent, what happened is the businessmen, with the permission of the local authorities, decided now here it is. Here is the Don River, you can see it. There it is. They decided to straighten this river, and you can see it's running parallel to the road because it used to meander and that meandering um, led to so much flooding in the 1950s especially in 1954 we had serious flooding so when there's no meandering of the river of course there is better management of the flow of water because water flows by gravity the numerous bridges and we are now entering the city again the Don River there it is you can see straight and parallel to the tarmac and now we enter the central business district, the downtown. So today is a good day. Don't have excess sunshine. There was a drizzle in the morning, but then you can see the CN Tower. I don't know that it will be visible, but I can see the tip of the CN Tower. The iconic Canadian landmark. So there's so much construction going on because Toronto is a heavily populated area sitting at a population of 6 million there's an ever-growing need for housing so there are many sky skyscrapers coming up and there is also preservation of the old, so there is a nice mix between the contemporary and the new, the old. So we are now in town. So much renovation works going on. used to such roads traffic signs is everything over here you jump a red light then that may cost you a lot in terms of the fines you have to pay so yeah we are now in town 
Vietnamese town. And as you can see, the streets are not as populated due to the COVID pandemic lockdown. That's the St. Lawrence Market. Huge, huge market. So with that, I come to the end of this wonderful video. Thank you guys for being loyal viewers. Subscribe if you are new. Like the video please. And do leave a comment of what you want to see about this wonderful town in North America. And that is Canada. subscribe and let's get to see each other in our next video thank you guys and god bless